Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. I'm Jeff Thee. Welcome to the Man Cave. And here with me today is Stephanie Parks, who's giggling at me because I have a man cave. I oh, know. It's <laughs> awesome. It's it's it's. You, what, you're lucky. You, and you, you, know, you still have pajama with... pants on, though. That's <laughs> yeah. what's cool, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Well, no, yeah. no one knows what I'm wearing. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, and you notice we're only a couple steps away from the bar, too. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about that today, Steph. We're here to talk about, uh, and you moved it once, but uh, it is the uh, Okaboji 100 presented by Parks Marina. And then... Um, Dickinson County Snowhawks. Uh, Snowhawks. And, and Core Power Sports, which is the sanctioning race that keeps track of all the points and yeah. all that. Because they don't just come here. Right. We're lucky enough to be able to host a race, but they travel all over. Yeah. These and this guys is travel this, all over. This is the second one, right? Correct. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, I remember last year getting ready for it. And you and I were having a chat yesterday, and, and tomorrow we're looking at. It's not often I say, boy, I hope we get snow. But this is one of those yes, times. Yes, yes. Uh, between this coming up and then also and winter games. U of O Winter Games. Yeah, and uh, we need snow. We need snow to... This race is kind of unique. I mean, they need some snow because what it does is it helps mark the track. Yeah. So the racers can see the corners and that kind of stuff. But with technology on these snowmobiles that they don't really need it, it just costs them a lot more in the... The rails underneath, and right? All that kind of stuff. Where you know, I remember growing up as a kid, and and if there was no snow, we couldn't go out riding because your sled would overheat because it right. would, the track would melt. And yeah. so, but yeah. when we were kids, and you're a little bit younger than me, but it seems like there was always snow. <laughs> it know? did, it did, yeah. Didn't so know? you know, and and we're we are grateful that we're getting some snow tomorrow, and you know, definitely it is awesome. We've been blessed for Winter Games the past few years. With snow, because it totally helps, because it's the Snowhawks, we love snow, and yeah. we love to snowmobile, and, and our phones and our websites and everything just start blowing up that we, people want to come ride. Yeah. And yeah. we groom over 100, 100 miles of trails. Right. We have memberships. Memberships are $30 for a family, and which also gets you a ton of great discounts throughout the whole community. Um, we are super lucky. We have a huge support system with the community yeah. because, believe it or not, Jeff, we are not just a summer destination <laughs> place. <laughs> and that's what makes, I mean, all that the Dickinson County Snowhawks do uh, for the area. It, it's it's another venue that brings people to the Iowa Great Lakes. That, number one, they're coming here and they're having a good time, which is something mm -hmm. we always want. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, they're spending money, which is something we always want. And snowmobilers, I mean, when they come for the weekend, they're also staying in our hotel same for winter games weekend huge economic impact yes. and um, you know i would have to get someone from the chamber to get that those actual numbers and that kind of stuff to get that but it's a big impact the snowmobilers have and they do leave a lot of money here because they do like to eat and maybe have a beverage or two <laughs> or two yeah but these racers i mean these guys are serious they're not coming here they they got to be in shape you cannot ride a hundred miles at a hundred miles an hour yeah. for an hour and and be, you know, old age, fat yeah. out of shape. <laughs> well, it's, it's like when you're, you know, when you're watching the, uh, you know, NASCAR, you know, yes. you don't see any big tubby guys in no, those cars. No, no, <laughs> of course, no. they got to fit behind that steering right. wheel, I grant right. it. But, right. but I mean, they're in shape for that long endurance and same yeah. goes for these guys. Yeah, on the, the support Okoboji team 100. might be a different, a different story, <laughs> but yeah, these guys are, they're, they're, uh, um, very much in shape take this stuff seriously because there's there's good money to be made and not made i mean you're paying for your hobby right but um you know they still come here to cover some expenses and like like jeff said um they they do leave a lot of money here our yeah. hotels are very full next for two weekends in yes. a row and thank and goodness then the for weekend that weekend after that we have the vintage races at the ritz right we, we don't do that with another organization but they're awesome and so it's like again snowmobilers bringing stuff to the area and leaving money here. No doubt about for it. For our area, which is fabulous. Yes. And, okay, so let's talk about uh, where things start and, and what the route's like and, and where, uh, if you love to watch this sort of stuff, there are different areas, good vantage points around East Lake there. Right, right, right. So um, we are still finalizing everything on the track because, of course, ice conditions change. Right. And see what happens with snow. Um, I do know that the geese have kept some open spots by, by Charleston Beach. So yeah. 
we can't go that far and then there's also we share the lake with there's a fishing tournament so we can't go all the way up by the Ritz, which okay. was has been our goal, is to get it so that it encompasses yeah. a lot of East Okoboji. And again, a couple great vantage points as well. Right, yeah. right, so that you can, and you know, a lot of people come up and they sit in their house and have a party and watch this whole race, because it's it's just fun. Yeah. Um, and then we're working on, um, with the DNR and with, with CORE to, to, to have it go through the Narrows again. So okay. um, the crazy thing, and I think this is a fun fact to know with this race, is in some of those turns, they ate through, a t like there was a sharp turn in the narrows and it ate through 13 inches of ice wow. down to the water. <laughs> but right now we have great ice. Yeah. We have anywhere from 13 to 17 to, they went past 17 because they could, their measuring thing was yeah, only it, to it, that. It, it's very mild right now, but we've had some icy temperatures to we've build. Had, um, it's building amazing ice and then Without the snow, we don't have that insulation. So exactly. That helps. So yeah. Um, we do have great ice. The the old uh, adage I would always hear is, "Well, we can build a inch of ice a day when it, in the, under those conditions." Yes. So yes, yes. So, and, so we have great ice, great ice for winter games and for our Okaboji 100 race. And you know, if you're coming from out of town and you're watching this, and you're coming from out of state, make sure you get your your um, trail pass. Yes. And you can buy that anywhere that you. Uh, buy your fishing licenses, um, go on Dickinson County, Snowhawks, and we can have a list and we can, if you have questions, um, I know Cables, Okaboji Boats, um, uh, Oak Hill Outdoor. Yeah, right. You know, anywhere that you can buy a fishing license, you can get. Yeah, and maybe yeah. Google that and, and you can find yes, all the different Yes, ones. but make sure you have that. Make sure you comply. Make sure you have your light, uh, proof of insurance and registration. Yeah. Because so they they sit at the tunnel. Yeah, they'll be looking. They will be looking. So protect yourself. Pro yes. You, you, when you come to have fun, you don't want to get into any trouble. So no. make it no. easier. You don't want to pay any extra. <laughs> don't want to yeah. take any. You don't want to take anything away from that <laughs> beer money. That's right. Yeah, that's mm. just wasted money when you do it right, that way. Right. Right. Also, you've got some fantastic sponsors that are making this happen oh, too. Steph. Again, I mean, our area is so good at helping us out, and because they want to see events like this come to the area and they know how much it helps. Right. I have to use my uh, you know, cheat sheet here. <laughs> Okaboji Tourism has been fantastic. Mm -hmm. U.S. Powertrain, Chris Cable, he's a he's a racer from years and years and years ago, yeah. so he's a huge supporter. Demco, they're huge snowmobilers. Um, Errol Wood has been awesome. Clary Lake Service, Carney Concrete, Jason owns more vintage snowmobiles than most people. Then maybe my brother, I'm not really sure. They go back and forth. Duckies, um, you know, Josh is awesome with helping us out. Yeah. Vacation Okaboji, Smith's RV, Corey's awesome. He loves snowmobiling too. Yeah. Um, United Community Bank, Iowa Realty, Campus Cleaners, Rock Solid, Lakes New Shopper, and Explore Okaboji. I mean, yeah. and you know, we have some others that have that are coming through. And if you still, it, oh, did I say Exit Realty? Exit Realty as yeah, well. They're, right. you know, um, they are all just. They know that people love coming to this area, and a lot of these racers, they found it very interesting because they're used to being out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> and and then they come to Okaboji, and they have spectators lining the whole entire track. Yeah. And then they have restaurants to go to that are welcoming them with open arms, yeah. and they have a great hotel. Yeah. And they have gas stations everywhere, and they were just blown away by the w welcoming of. Okaboji. Yeah, it, I'm sure it was kind of a we're going back again type attitude. We did. We saw a few this summer. <laughs> yeah, good. They came in to say, you know, it's weird when they go from snowmobile clothes to, <laughs> you know, lake clothes. It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, oh. Barefoot clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, and I know that things are getting ready uh, uh, for all the activities at Parks Marina and the boathouse and everything uh, for winter games. So uh, that's going to be fantastic. But I was asking you before we got started, you know, inventory on your, you sell boats at I Parks sell boats. Another half. Yeah, yeah. The other half. And um, and you said that uh, getting inventory is getting a little it's better getting now. a little bit better. Um, there, we are seeing boats come in. The good news is, is people that have ordered them out, that they ordered them, say, at the end of summer. Or right. They're coming in. And we're like, we're like you know, we... We at Parks Marina have plenty of buildings, so 
we're put them away and yeah. it's ready for spring. Yeah. But yep, we're starting to see a large used boat, great in used boat inventory right now, and you know, so. And this is good. This is a great time to get a used boat. Great time to get a boat yeah. because you have uh, a lot to choose from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And be all ready for. Yes. When, ready to go for when we no longer want ice on the lake and you're not snowmobiling, then it's time to put a boat on Right, the which is the weekend after the vintage races. <laughs> <laughs> Just that's, kidding. That's going to be early we still like to do. We still like to do the snowhawks. We also organize, and if you follow, if you join our club and you uh, follow, our, or follow our Facebook page, we also do organized rides, and we'll do family rides all day on Sunday, and yeah. we'll, you know, um, try, I bet my goal is to take the women out do a ladies ride so they don't have their husbands they have to start their own snowmobile yeah. granted that's a lot easier now with turnkey yeah, yeah. but you know <laughs> make some of them rope it over so they know what's going on and yeah. just for them to feel confident going out and riding snowmobile exactly all right now if people want more information what's the best way to, either on this or the snowhawks what's the best way to find something out i would say go to dickinson county snowhawks yeah. all one word and there's tons of information and if you it, we have it on facebook we're on i think we're on twitter we're on you know but our website has great links you to being able to be a member for thirty dollars um and then you we will uh there's paypal account there's everything we try to make it as simple as possible very good um you know i want to say oh the race we didn't talk about where it started it's starting oh, yes. Oh, yes so parks <laughs> marina is hosting it and which is awesome because there's a lot of land so that those huge trailers, which is a spectacle in itself, right. um, have a lot of place to park. And uh, so it starts there at, at 9 o'clock on Saturday, this yeah. Saturday. Wait, no, on the, I'm uh, sorry. Saturday uh, the 22nd. 22nd, yes. And Sunday the 23rd. So you will see these races. So they both, um, and the barefoot will be open. So two weekends in a row in the winter right. time, you get barefoot time and snappers will be open. And then they'll also have upstairs at the boat club open so you can go sit up there and warm up and it's a great place to sit up there on the deck and watch as well. Yeah. But it's just a huge spectacle and we're blessed that Butch opens it up for us to host this and, and host comfortably, this for these guys. comfortably enjoy it. Yes, exactly. exactly. You Very don't have good. to stay outside in the cold. <laughs> but there's, you know, all around the whole track and just kind of stay up to up to you know where that track's going to be because there's a lot of a lot of turns and it's kind of fun watching those guys yeah. and girls um do that awesome. all right so there's everything from 14 year olds to i think the oldest is like 70. wow that's drives that's pretty cool yeah be a fun it's spectacle cool. looking forward to it all right yeah. again it's the okaboji 100 and it's presented by parks marina we're so thankful to have them do that all right my friend thank you for coming in and, thanks, and talking about it you thank bet you. Uh, thanks for inviting me oh always a pleasure stephanie parks here again from parks marina and of course the dickens county snowhawks with the okaboji 100 that is next weekend here in the iowa great lakes we thank stephanie for being with us thank you for watching us right here on okaboji broadcast Okaboji broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake, Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz, Duckies Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake, Bank Midwest, Dream Big, Plan Wisely, Live Well, Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner, Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake, Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake, B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji, 